Hello guys, um, uh, not in the shed at the moment and not doing a beer review either. Um, this is something I don't do very often, <clears throat> which is a bit of a product review. Um, I, um, again, I don't do it, but I'm so impressed with this particular product that I bought. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna share a review of it and um, let people know about it. I think it can be really helpful to quite a few people. Um, the product is this. Inkbird um, 30 IPD ITC 308, but it's the one with the Wi Fi on it. So, fortunately, until today, <laughs> it was on offer in Amazon. Um, so, you might not be able to get that, unfortunately, but um, get onto Amazon. That's where I got mine from. I think they're about 35 quid or something like maybe slightly more than that now unfortunately but uh, but anyway um i think you should do like unboxing and stuff but i just want to show you what's in here and, and then we'll move on to actually show you what it does so get it open everything's normal in there you see you get the, the unit and all the gubbins underneath so your plug with your heating and cooling it's a normal uk style plug and you get a temperature probe um, which I think is five meters long the, uh, the the wire on it so so that's all the stuff you get um, but the important bit is this bit this little pamphlet you get inside so in here it tells you all about um, going onto the app and opening it and getting downloading it from either the app store or Android Google Play whatever it is um, and it works with either so that's all fine get that if you want to get it obviously get the app uh, get it installed. The whole point in me doing this is that, um, so I keep looking up because I've got a little monitor up here, so I'll try to stop doing that. The uh, whole point in doing this is that uh, I can, you can control it from the house or from work or from whatever you want. So if you're uh, at work or whatever and you suddenly go, sugar, I forgot to uh, change the temperature on my firm fridge. Uh, I want it to be cold crashing or I wanted to reduce it down to, you know, 13 degrees or whatever you can do that purely through the app um, and what I'll do is I'll show you in work so I've got a beer in the shed at the moment which I need to cold crash so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna jump on here uh, I'll show you I'll video this working on here and I'll try and show you what's happening in the shed at the same time um, so I'll pop off here quickly jump onto here and then we'll show you it working there you go guys, hopefully you can see that, that's the just the ink bird in the uh, shed, just working completely normally. Um, and to get onto the app, literally you just open it up and it's this one called Inkbird Smart. So we open it up, wait for it to come in. So I've renamed my firm fridge one, the one I bought, another one I'll be able to connect that to the other firm fridge I've got in the shed and obviously firm fridge two too. So name them appropriately as you like. So if we click in here, it should see that 13.7 is what it's saying that the uh, the firm fridge is at the moment in the shed, and you can see the picture here. Yep, it is 13.7. Um, so if I just click at the bottom here, so I'll just show you what you've got here. First of all, you've got this uh, temp trend diagram. All it does is literally just shows you the the temperature it's been over a period of time. So. Not particularly interesting. Um, if I could show maybe the fourth, did I do anything there? Let's have a look. Did I do anything? Maybe it was the fourth. When did I do this? There we go. There we go. You can see it starts to go down because I reduced the temperature in the fridge to 14 degrees, um, and that's just the, the, the trend of it going down over that particular time. It's not particularly interesting. Um, but then at the settings, if you go into settings, you can see here you can set just about everything that you can on a normal ink bird so you know the differential uh, heating and cooling so how quickly do you want it to kick in before um, it starts heating or starts cooling so I've got it to, to half a degree so when it goes half a degree out of what my setting is either the heating will kick in or the cooling will kick in um, so that's all like the normal settings that you've got there that you can get from a, uh, a normal ink bird but what I want to do is I want to change the temperature. So 14 degrees is set at the moment. So this one says SV and a little temperature bit by it, saying 14C next to it. That's what my current setting is. So I'd click on that. 
you'll then see 14 and a zero, so I'm gonna cold crash now, so I'm gonna take it right down. So I usually cold crash at about 1.5. Say okay, and you'll see in the shed, app clicks in, and that bottom value of the Inkbird says it's going to have 1.5. The screen here on the iPhone changes to say uh, it's now cooling, it goes blue. Um, the setting is now changed to 1.5, and that's it, dead simple. So I just leave it. So that's me changing my setting on my Inkbird in my shed from wherever I want. So, so long as I've got access to Wi-Fi or 4G or, or any kind of connection, I can do that from anywhere, from anywhere I am. So uh, quite useful. Um, so I go back to the uh, the normal uh, the, the camera. I'll see you there. And that's it. Dead simple, uh, but a really good product that works really simply. Um, so as I say, get onto Amazon or wherever. Just if you just search for Inkbird Wi-Fi IT ITC 308. Wi-Fi, there we go. Um, so let's Google that. You might be able to get a better price on Amazon, but as I say, I bought mine from Amazon because there was a deal on at the time that someone posted in. Um, God, I'm really tired. I'm not tired. I'm, I'm all right, but I look tired. Um, yeah, so get it on there. So tell you what, get on there if you like them. Get it. The only thing that I would say is missing from the app is to be able to schedule it. So if you said, all oh, right, I'm really happy with this, and at midnight I wanted the uh, the temperature to start cooling down to 1.5 or whatever, cold crashing it, you could go in and you could set that in a setting, but it doesn't, you can't do that. You have to physically go into the system and you have to set it yourself. Um, oh, the other thing I will show you actually before I forget, no, I won't show you, but someone asked about how close does it have to be to the uh, router, the actual unit. So the unit, my unit's in the shed, my router's in the, the room next door. But what I have got is in the shed, I get terrible reception anyway, even when I'm on the phone or anything like that. So all I've done is I've got like a, a repeater in the, like a, a, like a booster or whatever, in the shed, a little plug that's plugged in that connects to my Wi-Fi here and just boosts the signal in there but it's got its own Wi-Fi ID um, in there. So I've got the Inkberg connecting to that and it all works perfectly. So, you know, that, that's what I've got. Whether it works further away, I don't know, I'm afraid I can't, I can't tell you. So uh, if anyone wants, let me know and I'll give it a try and see if I can connect it to the Wi-Fi in the house. Um, and I'll let you know if that works. But, uh, but yeah, generally speaking, great product. Really pleased with it. I bought another one. You know, I'm a bit like bloody Victor Kayam. You know, I'm so happy. I, I, think, I think I might go. I might go and I might buy Inkbird. Um, so, uh, so anyway, <laughs> don't know where else to go with this. Great product. Good. I'm rambling. Have a beer. It's Sunday. It's nearly half past. No, it's, it's gone past half past eight. That's it. Bye. You put the beer in the coconut and drink it all up. You put the beer in the coconut and throw the can away.